What's going on YouTube? Philip in the world here and in today's video I want to show you guys how to make a quick and easy bottom fishing rig. Um, I've done this video before but uh, that video is uh, probably like five or six years old right now and I thought it was time to uh, make a new video since that one's super outdated. So uh, let's not waste any time let's go ahead and get into the uh, setup a rig. Alright first I'm going to show you guys what the rig actually looks like. So um, the setup or the rig uh, starts off with the sinker at the bottom and then going up the line it parts off into the first hook like so and then going a little bit more up it parts off into another hook and at the very end of it or the very start of it actually whatever you want to call it uh, it goes into this little loop right here and this is where you would tie on uh, a, a swivel to your main line and you would just uh, clip this on the swivel and you're good to go so that's what, it's look, that's what it looks like. Uh, yours may be different depending on how many hooks you want or the type of weight you're going to use. And uh, yeah, let's, have some, let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and get into the actual uh, setup of the uh, rig. So uh, for the supplies you're going to need, uh, the first thing is going to be a, a spool of line. Um, you can use uh, any type of line you want uh, and any uh, pound test line you want. Um, I'm just using 50 pound test line right now to show because it's the only one that shows up really well on the camera. And uh, it's easier to demonstrate how to do this to you guys. And uh, the line is going to depend on uh, the species you're fishing for or the type of water. It's really your choice. And uh, the second item you're going to need is the, uh, is the sinker. You can use any kind of weight you want. I'm just using a 2 ounce sinker. And also you're going to need uh, your hooks. Um, the hooks also depend on your choice. Uh, it also depends on the law uh, that's set at wherever your state you're fishing at in the, or lake. Uh, like the, for example, I'm going to be fishing at Puget Sound. They only allow you to have uh, two hooks on your rig, and also you have to uh, cut off the barbs, and you can just do that with pliers. But yeah, I'm just using two hooks for this video. And uh, the next thing you need is something to cut your uh, line with, and I'm just using my multi-tool. And uh, yeah, that's all you need. And uh, now we're going to be ready to uh, set up the rig. All right, to start off, you're going to want to grab your uh, uh, spool of uh, line. And uh, you're going to want to take the end of it. And you're going to take your sinker. And uh, this is all you have to do to uh, tie on the sinker. You're going to run the line through the eye of the sinker. You're going to pull out a little bit of line to make this easy to work with. You're going to pinch the two lines together, like so. And you're going to want to take your sinker. And you want to make sure to watch closely. Here, I'll bring this up closer. You're pretty much just making a really easy simple knot. You're going to run the sinker through the knot twice. This is very important because if you do it once it doesn't add as much strength. And then you're going to want to just pull in the line and it forms this kind of knot. Now this is really hard to do with a 50 pound test line but as you can tell I did it. And uh, yeah once you have that done you can just cut off the excessive line Make sure to leave a few centimeters of line left, so that way uh, if the knot ever tightens up more, it won't undo itself. And uh, yeah, you're done with the first step. Now you're ready to uh, make the loops for the hooks. Alright, starting on the next step, uh, going from the sinker, you want to go up the line about maybe I'd say uh, half a foot, maybe even a foot. And uh, you're going to want to take the line, you want to do this right here, and uh, make this uh, type of loop. And you're going to want to uh, take this loop, make sure to hold it with your uh, fingers here, and uh, you're going to make another knot. And how you do this knot is uh, you just pretty much do the same thing you did at the sinker. You take the loop, you run it in through twice, and you pull. And it makes a, a knot and a loop like this. And also, you do this uh, knot with the loop, uh, depending on the amount of hooks you're going to add to your line. And uh, since I'm going to do two hooks on my line, I'm going to do two of these. I'm going to show you again how to do this. Again, from that loop, you're going to go another foot or a, f a half foot, and you're going to make another one of these loops. And you're going to make a knot. Make sure, remember to run it down to the knot twice. And there you go. Oh yeah, also forgot to mention, once you decided and finished how many uh, loops you wanted to make for your hooks, at the very end of the rig, you want to go from the last loop 
uh, maybe another foot or half a foot and you want to make another loop well this one is not going to be for the uh, hooks it's going to be for your uh, swivel you want to go ahead and make that knot again and then uh, make sure to cut off the line from the spool and there you go you're pretty much done with the uh, rig part of it now you just have to add the hooks and you're finished alright to do the uh, uh, hook part of this rig you want to take your uh, spool or your line from the spool and uh, get the end of it and you want to make sure to run the uh, line to the upper portion of the eye of the hook. You're going to want to pull some line out and uh, what you do next is you run the line against the hook forming your own hook. So it'd be some, like something like this and make sure on this part of the hook with the line you want to hold it with your fingers and you want to take your excessive line and you're just going to run or wrap the line seven times or five times depending on your preference around the uh, hook and uh, once you did uh, seven of these you're going to want to hold the line like this with your uh, other hand and you want to let go of your thumb and your finger and uh, right here you uh, see that you formed this loop now with the line that you have left over you run the line through the uh, loop and hold it and now you can let go of everything and what I like to do is I like to pull on this on the main line to uh, set the the loops at the base of the hook and then you just pull on uh, both the lines and there you go you've tied on the uh, hook to the line now with the excessive line make sure to cut it off I'll leave a few centimeters of line left like so And then uh, from the hook, you want to go up about, I'd say, six inches. And then what I showed you earlier with the loops, you're going to form another one. Go in and once. And then twice. Pull. And there you go. You have your uh, first hook set up finished. Just cut off the excessive line. And uh, now you're ready to apply this to your uh, rig. Alright, so you're going to want to grab your rig and take your uh, hook setup that you just made. And through the first, through the first uh, uh, loop you made on the rig, you're going to take your hook, you're going to run it through that loop. Only about halfway. And then uh, with the loop that you made on the hook setup, you're going to run the hook through that also. Make sure to pull all the way through. And then what you're going to have is you're going to have this uh, situation right here. And what happens is, uh, uh, depending on how much line you have left over from, the, from you cutting, you're going to have to assist the uh, loop to go through the first loop. Which is sometimes tricky to do if you, don't, if you leave out a lot of line. And then you should form like a little knot like this, and then you just pull. And this uh, this line is kind of hard to work with, but uh, if it was a smaller pen test line, it should hold like this. But uh, since uh, this is a pretty big, thick line, uh, it's still gonna hold in place, but it's just gonna like move around a little bit like that. But that's nothing to worry about because the hook is never gonna come out. And uh, you do this for all the uh, loops that you made, and uh, I only got two hooks, and uh, you're pretty much done with the setup. Then all you have to do is tie a swivel to your main line, and then you clip it onto the last loop, and you're uh, finished with the rig. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this setup, be sure to subscribe, and uh, be sure to leave this video with a like. And uh, be sure to comment if you have any questions. I look at every co comment almost, and uh, I, I like to answer your guys' questions. If you have any other suggestions for videos, or you want to ask how to do something, go ahead and leave in the comments. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys have a good day of fishing, and uh, good luck to you guys.